Let's do something interesting today. Today, we're going to talk about the origins of greenhouses, where they came from, how they began, all the way back 2,000 years ago um, with the Romans and Tiberius. You think about it, 2,000 years ago, I wonder what else happened then. Right around AD 30 was when they first came up. And we're going to get into some detail of how it happened, what they did, and what they were growing. We're going to go on from there to 500 years ago in Korea, where they started using the first heated greenhouses. Maybe six, 700 years ago in Italy, where they had greenhouses. And the beginnings of the European greenhouse commercial growing industry, which had its starts in the 16 and 1700s, but then coming into the Victorian age of the 18 and 1900s, absolutely exploded with new technologies, new designs, and much better climate control. Simple Tech, that's the name of this channel. And we have piles of videos on greenhouses and growing. You should check out after this one. One of the beautiful things about joining this channel or subscribing to this channel is that our archives are extensive on greenhouses, heating, growing, cooling, and all kinds of other stuff you need to know to make a greenhouse and make it affordable. Because we focus on the small grower, not the large commercial grower. Check it out. Hit subscribe. Hit like. You won't regret it. So the idea of greenhouses dates back to the Roman Empire Tiberius. And the archaeology tends to suggest it was around AD 30. Not that anything else significant was happening at that time in the world. In the Middle East. But greenhouses in particular... Tiberius's medical, I guess we call him a doctor back then, but he mustn't, medical advisor is probably a better term for it, suggested that he, a cucumber-like vegetable, they didn't really have cucumbers at that time to my knowledge, but something very similar to it once a day. The problem is, in Rome at that time, it, they had a winter. Uh, not a severe winter or anything like that, but it was enough of a winter that the crops didn't really grow. They had seasonal growing. So getting this cucumber-like vegetable to Tiberius was difficult, to say the least. The solution was to grow them in a cart or wheelbarrow type device and wheel it out in the winter and fall and spring months to the sun. And then when it got cold, you wheel it back inside and for the night or a terrible weather or storm or something like that. So the plant didn't die. This is the general theory of what we do with the greenhouse. Um, they also talk about an oiled cloth or a sheet of selenite. And it was a translucent type material they could put over the carts to give them a little more warmth. Uh, they weren't necessarily heated, but if you put something under a translucent or transparent material in the sun, it does heat up. So you get some heat out of that. So this is the origin of the first greenhouses. If we go back to the 13th century in Italy, the first greenhouses that they started playing with were basically just a roof or a wall of transparent or translucent material as this was becoming more common at the time. Now, you got to realize Italy isn't exactly the coldest climate in the world, um, especially southern Italy. So what they were doing was they were increasing by the greenhouse effect or by heat coming through glass a little bit and it was enough to act as a greenhouse to get their botanical gardens growing better and growing longer in almost four season if not four season through the time so this is the first time we really really started using a greenhouse to grow plants and the italians went all out on this there's some incredible gardens in italy that are worth mentioning and checking out that you'll see in the images here now, the next development, and this one is cool, involves Korea. It was about five, 600 years ago, the 15th century. The Koreans developed the first heated, active heated greenhouse. Now, okay, people go, okay, gee, they put a fire in it and the way they heated it. No, 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 no. They actually had a heated floor. Five, 600 years ago, the Koreans developed a greenhouse where the floor, the entire floor, was heated to keep their greenhouse warm and grow their plants year-round. The other thing they used is they used um, an oil-drenched 
attachment on top that allowed for transluent translucent uh, transmission of light for the greenhouse. So they had, you know, a, a good transparent or translucent material on top. But the real genius of the Koreans was the heated floor. Like greenhouses didn't just start out with a fire or, or a, a, in the corner. They actually had a full heated floor. So 17, 18, 1900s, there was an explosion of greenhouses in Europe. It started to become a major commercial enterprise. I mean, you start hearing about things like the Dutch tulip. Um, how do we describe this? The Dutch tulip escapade, where tulips became more valuable than gold. But the first greenhouse, modern style greenhouse that we use today, is credited to a fellow named Charles Lucien Bonaparte. Interesting name again. Uh, in the 1800s, and it was in the Netherlands, but he was a French dude. And he designed what we would understand and look at today as the most simple glass-based year-round greenhouse that can grow plants that we can use and sell. Greenhouses in North America, in particular the United States, go back to the 1700s. The first greenhouse is credited to a fellow named Andrew Fernell, uh, who was a Boston merchant, and he grew all kinds of plants that he was able to sell with what we would understand and use as a greenhouse today. But an interesting thing in history is that George Washington actually had greenhouses. The first American president used greenhouses to grow pineapples. He had a pineapple thing. I mean, you know, for those of you that don't like pineapple on pizza, you're on American. Because <laughs> George Washington grew pineapples in his greenhouses. So modern greenhouses today, um, the innovations have been going forward like crazy. There's the simple hoop house, and then there's, you know, the Gothic arch, and, you know, we go into things like the Wallapini and the Chinese design and the passive greenhouses, etc., etc. And the greenhouses that we use nowadays don't go back all that far, to be honest. It, it's a fairly relatively modern invention. But it's a technology that keeps moving forward. And the thing that we like to promote on this channel, Simple Tech, is we like to embrace the idea of simple technology. Maybe melding two or three or four different types of simple technology together so that we can grow year round in climates that are not used to growing year round because the quality of our food matters. Now, if you live in a Southern area or a Southern country where you can get food grown year round, this isn't as big a concern for you. But if you live in an area like I do, we're in Manitoba, Canada, in the winter, our fruits and vegetables are trucked in and they've traveled thousands of miles. So to be able to handle that journey, this food has been picked before it's ripe. And it's chemically ripened often in the trucks or the trains or the ships before it gets to us. And it does something to the flavor, not to mention the nutrients. So the bottom line reason Simple Tech as a channel on YouTube exists is fresh, good, food. I know people can grow flowers and they can grow uh, medical, legal substances in greenhouses as well. But our primary focus on this channel is to eat and to eat better and to eat tastier. And greenhouses are the way to do that. So I hope I gave you a little bit of history on greenhouses with this channel today. And I hope I inspired you to at least start your own greenhouse. Hope to see you in the next video.